Hello beautiful people, um, today I decided to share with you how I'm working with backlight images and to make them pop and to uh, show how I use environment and light and moment. Uh, so here couple, couples shoot and uh, we got the moment um, uh, where they're standing close to each other, there is some connection between them and I choose a spot where you can see light just peeking from the rock, um, it's the best option to get like filtered light um, through the trees if you're in the forest uh, or park or if you're on the beach like this, it's just peeking from the rock. And I like to get this like rim light. Um, there is um, haze on their face, but um, for me, I'm not care how it looks their faces at this moment because it's not like portrait photography. I'm more after the moment, after the movement, after the atmosphere um, to allow me and my viewer to feel something. So when I um, found this photo in my gallery, um, I, it's such a sneak peek. I'm not even at its full gallery yet, um, but I just loved it. Love the moment. Love how we can see hair and walk is this. So, as you see, uh, there is a movement. It's prominent movement. Your hair, like lines, light. Um, so that's a moment what um, I'm been after in uh, right, get it right in the camera. So what do we do with this photo? Um, of course, everyone have different editing style, but I will just give you a few tips on um, making this image pop. Um, so um, uh, basically what uh, we usually do, we definitely adjust temperature because at this situation you see uh, my camera auto white balance um, not work. Usually um, I'm popping it up um, and do custom white balance at the sunset and putting it around 7-8 thousand Kelvin uh, but in this situation probably it just been start of session and I'm totally <laughs> forgot to do it so we're definitely making this image warmer around like 7,000 or even more depending on how you like the color it's your personal choice and another thing what allow us kind of root out of this haze it's a contrast so we getting more and more contrast here you see how it's changed how everything became like yummy um, if you want you can play with highlights put highlights down whites down it's like your personal choice um, you can play with shadows maybe move shadows out of the frame or if you like more dramatic you can add more shadows um, blacks as well but I like a lot of blacks and I love shadows as well and um, clarity again you see how playing with clarity actually uh, and because they hazy it's no matter on their faces it's not affect their faces so we can actually play with this clarity and make it like stronger even stronger um, you can play with tone curve um, you can go like say um, up here maybe not too much uh, maybe down here a little bit if you want more shadows mm, you can delete highlights a little bit and go down in this curve it's like my normal um, curve what I like and I really like some matte effect so um, just kind of so it looks a little bit not too crease but slightly more muted and um, um, about muted color, uh, the cheek is um, fine saturation and um, you see how it's like too yellowish um, so we can put saturation down and go maybe minus 9 or minus 11 just whatever you like and you see I not even been playing with colors yet so then next thing we have hue, saturation and luminance um, you, you can uh, play with each panel individually or you can take eyedropper and you can find the color here and you can play with this color you can uh, go up or down you see how it's changed if you don't know what to choose you can go dramatically up and down and then find the moment when you actually like how it looks um, so you can play with like individual colors but be careful don't make it too red um, looking at skin tone or too yellowish too much magenta so um, it's kind of your personal choice what you feel like um, and it's your artistic um, point of view so you definitely can uh, play um, with different sliders like you can put like saturation slightly down and the color 
what you feel dominated and luminance quite important for skin what we do we usually play with red and orange luminance you see how change like it's like glowing skin so definitely add luminance in orange and red so it's make it slightly lighter and glowy <laughs> so that's kind of the main yeah you can play how you like um, so that's um, there is also split toning. Um, I love to use split toning, and what I usually do, I add in like worms um, in highlights, and especially for this image, you can. Do you see how it's like too much? Um, so you just uh, trying to find the balance and colors that works for you. So you can go like say over here, and um, add maybe a little bit coldness to the shadows. Um, again, you can play and see like what you like. It can be like, around here. It just um, each time when I edit in, it's different. So um, you can definitely play with your custom presets, try and adjust. There is also this panel. I like to um, add tint in the shadows because it's uh, make it like you see it's like too much. <laughs> just do you see effect? So you can go too much, not enough, and then find your middle ground. So if you go around five or ten, it's gonna give like really nice like green tint in the shadows, and I love it. Um, and just your blue primary color, whatever you like, you can just play um, with this. See how it changes a lot, actually. Um, so yeah, basically play with this panel, and also obviously you see how dark um, skin, like their arms um, in backlight photos, def because definitely they're not enough light. So what you do, you can dodge the shadows, um, and also you can warm up this um, because usually it's like purple or some other like bluish color because it's just um, another temperature there it's in the shade uh, and uh, we can um, dodge the shadows here with like warm tint um, so you so it looks like natural and don't afraid um, with backlight photos actually take your brush and go over the faces and make them lighter if you need so don't be afraid and another thing what i really love add clarity to the hair so we go to the clarity and um, i'm adding like a lot of clarity um, so basically just for hair just to make them pop and you see how it changes it's like you can see each individual hair how it's kind of pop out yeah that's the same um, so that's I'm um, just done custom editing um, but um, if I want my usual colors I can just come back to you see because it's always different so I can come back to my uh, presets what I usually using um, this is uh, um, I, the last time I've been editing figure skating so I call it figure skating um, definitely I need here more shadows and blacks you see so that I bringing it back to my normal look and I definitely need to add contrast here. See, it's just, yeah, and play with like highlights, shadows, too much for me. And yeah, so that's my kind of normal uh, look. That's how, what I usually um, go for and like with a lot of shadows and dramatic um, blacks. So you can see it all here and that's my curve. Um, yeah, and um, Lum luminance saturation greens down definitely and that's how my hue working um so that's it now i take this image to photoshop because i feel um that it's not enough pop on the image so i will definitely open this in photoshop and trying to change it but before i do it i also also look at the image of what do you want to bring attention to definitely i want attention to the hair in this composition it's too much light over here and not enough attention to my hair so what i do i actually crop this image so i go closer closer and closer you can even cut like <laughs> a guy's head if you feel like um, it's okay to cut head and uh, um, on if you want to bring attention into your hair so yeah i don't remember what my original crop was but i definitely cropped this image um just to bring more attention to to the hair so you can do this type of crop 
Okay, let's um, now take um, this image to Photoshop and play um, a little bit more with contrast and um, her hair as well. So let's see what we can do. So I decided to actually crop even more like on his head. Um, as you see here in Photoshop, uh, we have not enough contrast, not enough light. Like we tried, but it's kind of not worked. So what we do, we open in levels and we add in light um, and we can play with like middle tones here. Um, we can play with blacks if we want, just to make it uh, more stood out. Um, and um, I like this, so it's already like a lot of contrast. If you want dodge tool, you can dodge the hair and make them uh, more uh, lighter. So we can uh, play with mid tones, we can uh, make hair lighter, so we can go, don't forget, go on the background. Um, so we can go around and uh, make um, hair slightly pop. And also what else we can do, we can go um, to the layer. So we can uh, find the layer here. I'm sorry, my computer like really, really slowly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, I just need to be patient. <laughs> it's never enough. Um, okay, so here uh, we, you can find photo filter. And um, you can um, get this um, like warming filter. So when I what it's do, you can see like I can put it on maximum. So you can see what actually this filter does. It's like two yellowish. We don't need two yellowish, but it could be nice if we can be around maybe 40. 47, 46, and we add this kind of warmness into our photo. So if uh, you add white balance, but you're not quite there, you can always use this. And your hair. Um, I love to play with liquify tool if you need it, because you already have shape here. But what you can do, you can actually prolong some hair. Um, let's kind of look organically, not too strange. And you can play with um, your hair, like shape, how they fly. You can maybe put this a little bit down. Just just something would feel, um, looks kind of organically to you to make it um, kind of more flowy to more like kind of add movement, to add maybe slightly little bit lengths. You're not doing too, <laughs> too like crazy stuff, but just a little bit, just to make it slightly pop and um, kind of prolong. Um, so maybe even move it closer to the end of the frame, so they kind of fly over there. Um, just so what you feel, it's like your personal choice. I just done roughly, but I will show you my final result on my original photo, so you can see um, what changed there. Uh, okay, you see, so it's prolonged and more movement. Um, this one bothering me. So what you can do with these like little things, what you not quite like, you can always take lasso tool and then press edit and fill and it's pick up like background and surroundings. So like this, you see, so we like root out of it. And if you need um, delete little hair, you can always use um, this tool. Um, and just whatever bothering you, whatever you don't like, how it looks, you can um, delete all this like little hair over here and over here. And uh, definitely work with this one. You can use stamp tool um, and, and just use this background. So you press Alt, pick up um, tones here and then just go around here so you can get absolutely the same um, the same background but obviously it's like really rough so you can just work with this better or you can take lasso tool maybe to bring it all together <laughs> to certain uh, view um yeah so you can um work with like two three tools in photoshop um yeah it's not perfect guys sorry um i just want i actually here even not deleted it so i just want to show you what uh, my final photo was um you see every time when i'm editing it could be different so that's how i felt today that was original photo definitely needed to delete this hair from here 
again you can use different tools to work with this you see because it's now it's bothering me so you can always see some details and um, work with them so as you see here my final result if you want to work a lot with details and spend too much time in photoshop you can also delete the stone the shade over here you can delete this little hair um, you can more delete over here um, maybe these highlights if they're bothering you and hair so you see like um, in first rough edit I'm not even bothering about these little details but here I did um, that's my final edit so hope it helps um, you can definitely bring your image alive um, with backlight again what you do you add in contrast um, you add in warmness in your shot um, you can add clarity um, especially to the hair and if you have a moving subject like scarf dress hair you can definitely add a little bit pop with your liquify tool and give it slightly more shape and movement and um, clean up so then you can clean up your frame and delete some little little details hope it helps guys um good luck with choosing backlight for this get it right in the camera slightly underexposed you can always use um tool um lightening dodge tool uh, and go over faces over hands and all other stuff um, so as you see in this example it's much lighter and i bring uh, back light on their arms so if you have time actually you can definitely work with more details and i actually like this lighter kind of faded what i done last because i've been showing you previous edit just before in photoshop um, just to save your time but you can see definitely that there is so many options uh, in editing and your art is like every day you have different feeling and um, different vision so it's it's your choice how you see how you feel how you translate your emotion today and what do you want to say so that's your voice that's your pictures that's you it is you so i would love to see your edits and hope it's helped you to improve it thank you so much bye